Hey there, in this quick video we're going to be going over how to create a sidebar menu in jQuery, HTML, and CSS. Uh, it's very simple, you click on the button and it opens up your uh, sidebar nav and then you can click the button again to close it. So that's what we're going to be going over this video. Okay, so let's get started. So far I've created a new folder on my desktop called Sidebar Menu and I've opened it up in my text editor right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two files. I'm going to create an index .html and I'm going to give the title a name of sidebar menu and then the other file that I'm going to create is a style.css so I'm going to go ahead and add some style in here real quick I'm just going to make sure that the body has a margin and padding of zero pixels and I'm going to save this file as style.css so then in my index.html I will need to reference that file Okay, easy enough. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is inside of our body, we'll want to give it a new div ID of, let's say, sidebar. So this is where our sidebar content is going to live. And we'll want to create an unordered list with some list items. And they'll all have a link inside of here. I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate that a couple times. And then we'll close out our unordered list. And I'm going to go ahead and format this a little bit. Okay, so if I save that, I'm going to go ahead and open the index.html. And it's not too impressive right now, but we're going to change that with some CSS. So my sidebar, I want to give it a background. I kind of like this dark background right here, so I'm going to copy that value. And then I'm going to give it a width of 200 pixels, a height of 100%. Want to display block, and we want the position to be absolute. And we want it to be at the top left. And I'm going to go ahead and save that and just refresh it. Okay, so now we have kind of a nice darker background for the sidebar. And we'll want to stylize the list items. So for the UL, we want to make sure that there's no margin or padding. And for the list items, we want to make sure that the list style is set to none so we don't have those bullet points to the left of our list items. All right, so our links, we want that to have kind of like a different background color than the black background. So I'm going to copy and paste this and give it a little bit lighter of color. And I'll set the color to kind of like a light gray. And I'll set a border bottom of one pixels, make that a little bit darker. We'll want to set the links to display block. We'll give it a width of 180 pixels and a padding of 10 pixels. So padding on the left and right plus 180 will give us the 200 pixels. If I refresh the page, you'll see it looks a little bit nicer over here. I'm going to change the, uh, the font, the text actually, uh, to be Helvetica New and Helvetica. I like that font a little bit better than the default. Okay, and then I will also want to set the text decoration to none so that way we don't have that annoying underlining of all of our links. So if I reload the page, it looks a little bit nicer. It looks kind of like a nicer sidebar menu. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to want to do is we're going to want to set a sidebar that has, if it has a class of visible, then that is actually going to have a left value of zero pixels and with our sidebar we actually don't want that to have a left of zero pixels we want that to be off to the very left so we want that to be off 200 so if we refresh the page you actually won't see it so if I change this to say like 180 you're only gonna see 20 pixels of it 
So as you can see, it's actually to the to the very left. So it's still on the page whenever we set it to negative 200 pixels, but it's just to the very left of the page where you cannot see it anymore. So if I reload that, and let me show you if I give this a class of visible, and I refresh the page, then sure enough, it's there. So what we need to do is we need to toggle this class visible whenever we want to show and hide the sidebar. So what we'll also want to do is add a, add a little bit of style, a little bit of transition to it. So we can do that just by saying transition left. Let's give it 0 0.3 seconds. And let's go linear. And I'm going to ch change that and move this over here. So now every time we give it a class of visible, then it's going to have this nice animation on here. And I can go ahead and show you an example of that right now. So if I open up the DOM and I go to our sidebar and I'm going to give it class equals visible. So you can see that it kind of slides out, has like a little nice animation. So whenever we give it class visible, it's going to slide in. Whenever we take that away, then it's going to slide back to the left. All right, so the next thing that we probably want is a sidebar button. So we want to be able to click on a button and have that sidebar menu open and close. So let's go ahead and go back to the index.html. And I'm going to call this sidebar-btn for sidebar button. And inside of there, I'm going to have three span elements. This is going to create kind of like that hamburger looking menu that you see on many websites. And I'm going to go back into my style.css and I'm going to stylize our sidebar button. Okay, so I want it to vertically align middle, give it a width of say 20 pixels and height of 15 pixels. And so for each span, we want it to have a height of one pixels. And background, just give it a black, actually a little bit lighter than black. And we want this to have a margin bottom of five pixels and we need to give this a display block okay so we have the little menu over here we also want to give the sidebar button a cursor a pointer so whenever we hover over it then it looks like a button and then we'll probably want to give this a margin of about 20 pixels okay so now we have a nice looking hamburger menu over here on the top left. And one thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to change the width of the second and third. Kind of gives it a little bit more of a stylish look. So I'm going to say span nth child. So we want to find the second child and we want to give that a width of 75%. So if I reload, you see the second one has a width of 75%. And I'm going to give the last one a width of 50% so it kind of descends down. It looks pretty nice. So if we say 50%, I'm going to reload that. Oh, we want to change that to the third child. So if I reload that, then you can see that our hamburger menu looks pretty nice there. And if we do click on it, nothing's going to happen because we haven't added any functionality to that yet. So we can go ahead and do that by, we need to add jQuery to our project. And I will need to go to Google Libraries and I'm going to copy and paste the jQuery library in my project and then I'm going to add a little bit of jQuery to my page. So I'm going to say once the document is ready then we want to set a click event on sidebar button. And we want to say once that is clicked, we want to give the sidebar a class of visible. So you can see whenever we click on the button, it's just going to add the class visible to the sidebar, which is going to cause it to open up. So if I go back over here 
and I click on the button, I need to refresh the page, and I click on it, you can see that the sidebar opens up. Uh, but you can see that we don't have a way to close it just yet. So an easy solution to that is we probably want to put our sidebar button inside of our actual sidebar. And we'll need to change the style a little bit. So for our sidebar button, we want it to have a position of absolute, and we want the top to be zero pixels, and right we want it to have probably like a negative about 50 or 60 pixels. So if I refresh that and then we click on it and then it opens up, you can see that the button opens up with the sidebar and then we can click it again to close it. But if I click it, nothing is happening. And simple enough, instead of add class in our jQuery, we can just say toggle class. So if I save that and refresh the page and we click on the button, you can see that the sidebar toggles open and close. So you can see how simple it is to create a sidebar menu using HTML, CSS, and uh, really we didn't even need jQuery, but I just threw it in there um, because I, a lot of my projects I use jQuery. Uh, but two simple files and we created this menu right here. Uh, it's very easy to use. You can integrate this into any of your projects and it makes it nice even if you're on say a mobile device because then you can just click on this hamburger menu and it opens up your the menu for your user. Uh, so I hope you found this useful and I will post all the code below this video. And uh, until next time, I will talk to you later.